Here we will make a round screen for, in this application, a water tank. I'm also using these round screens uh, to cover up my zucchinis. Um, I have a big problem with squash bores and by creating a screen I've got a way to open up the screen, go in and hand pollinate the flowers. So there's many applications for these round screens. Let's go ahead and make one. Here's, here's a water tank. Let's measure the circumference, six feet. We're gonna use PEX, which is a very flexible, half inch PEX, very flexible pipe. Uh, uh, it's got good UV stability. So that's gonna be our pipe of choice. You can pick that up at Lowe's or Home Depot and I think 10 foot, 10 foot lengths. Um, and let's go ahead and measure this out. Now, since I know I need it six feet, we're actually going to create a coupling and so I'm going to make it a couple inches longer just so that I can make a coupling uh, uh, and, and absorb that piece into the other one. So let's go ahead and chop it. Remember to put your safety glasses on. Okay, here we're actually going to uh, taper the end of the drop piece of pipe. We're going to use this because we're going to heat the other end of the pipe with a torch and we're going to soften it up and we're going to make our own coupling. That's what we're going to do. We're going to taper it so that it slides in. You've got to be careful. Don't apply too much heat and don't apply it in one spot. Make sure you rotate very quickly all the way around. This whole process here is probably in real time is taking about uh, 30 seconds, 30, maybe 40 seconds. While it's warm but not too, too, too flexible, I'm jamming the other pipe in that we just tapered about one inch into the other pipe. That's, that was just heated up and now we've made a nice coupling. Very nice because we don't have to buy anything, we don't have to glue anything. Uh, just a friction alone by connecting the two pieces uh, will, will work just fine. There I'm taking a little bit of water, cooling off that pipe because uh, it's still a little bit pliable. Again, you don't want to get it so soft that, that it, it, it just loses its shape. Here it is, the pipe is cool. Now you know how to make a hula hoop. Okay, now the next step is we're taking, in this, in this case, we're taking some fiberglass screen, although you can make it out of anything, any type of a screen material. I've, I've used aluminum screen, um, um, fiberglass screen. Um, so here we are, we're just cutting it a little bit larger than, than our circle. We're gonna use NP1. Now this is a urethane um, uh, caulking and it's a roofing material, but, but I'm also noticing that you can buy it at Lowe's or Home Depot. I'm checking the, the, the diameter of the circle, making sure that is it fairly uniform, because sometimes the pipe, the, the pipe will be out of shape, and you can actually manipulate it by putting clamps on it and uh, bring one side in closer or pull one side further out, just by, and then you can make more of a perfect circle. So I like to do a number of diagonals and just check it that I keep it circular. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply that uh, clamp and I'm going to apply some of this adhesive. Now I fooled with silicone. Silicone because when it dries it's very slick. It doesn't adhere very well. So urethanes, um, um, is a, this is a very good material, lasts a very long time and I'd recommend using it. Um, I, I've tried even different types of glues but because of the pipe being plastic not a lot of things stick to it. So this urethane uh, is, a, is a very good product to use and feel very confident that it has a good long-term longevity, good UV stability. So we've completed it. The next morning it's dry and now we're just trimming and getting rid of the extra material. And where the clamps were, I'm gonna apply a little bit more of the adhesive and I'm actually making sure that I push the adhesive through the screen into the plex. Now I've had a couple of pieces left over uh, from my chops and I, I went ahead and I did the same thing, made a coupling and, and I'm sticking two pieces together and I'm gonna make an extra uh, loop so that we don't have any waste. You could do this as many times as you want because you can make the coupling as often as you want. Thank you for watching.